Introducing whatever blows your hair back, baby. All right, so while I went to Brazil, can't talk much about what he did, so save us that. But what we're going to talk about, what's been on my mind as a single male, I don't know who was one single, who, whatever, but uh, Botox I'm, I'm and married. Pill what? A married man. Oh, you are married. Yeah, gotcha. That's, that's under wraps, though. So he's married. Classified information. Classified. You'll see, guys. It'll all make sense. Just bear with us. Anyways, we're going to talk about Botox and filler today. I'm excited about this conversation, to be honest with you, because I think I'm going to take this somewhere that you're not expecting me I to do. take it to. So everybody knows Juan's male model. He's wow. big. He knows, you know, he's just that pretty boy. He just, he knows he's in the circle of Botox and filler or heard of it and all that for face restoration and uh, all that good hot jazz. I love how you put, how you say that. <laughs> Face restoration, man. Is that wrong? Like I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else like call somebody's it. going into the body shop. You know what I'm saying? Well, some of these pictures they got coming out. Some of these, some of these uh, ladies I see coming out of there, looks like they went to the wrong body shop. <laughs> Anyhow, I, uh, you got any? Hey, uh, does she got any pictures? Show some of those. Show some blotches. Show a little couple blotch pictures. Uh, give us some viewers. Yeah, if you're tuning in with us live on YouTube right now. We got Sophia. She's on the sticks back there. She's giving you some good visuals. Sophia on the ones and two. Got her on some good visuals. So, on the contrary, let's start with Botox. Educate me as much as you can, Juan, on Botox, and I'll tell you what I know about yeah, Botox. So, Botox. I don't know much about Botox, to be honest. Um, I, you know, obviously, I have kissed. I went on a date with a with a woman with Botox in her lips or filler i don't know what they call it but what i can tell you is that it wasn't a pleasant experience to kiss someone with filler in their lips yeah i mean yeah, i've been there it's yeah. like it feels like you're like sucking on a piece of rubber covered by that's skin. not just, i was trying to explain it to someone you know what i explained it as you ever hear a fat lip it's like get punched yes. in the face, you know? and, and you're like you're, feeling it and it's unnatural yeah, and it's like yeah. filled with blood and pus Dude, and it's rock hard I mean, for me, it's a deal breaker, and I get it, man. I get that women want to feel pretty, but to be honest with you, fillers, shit like cheek fillers, lip fillers. Yeah, what's the new one? The where huge they're like fake they're... eyelashes, like contouring. For me, that's a deal breaker. If I see, for me, it's a deal breaker. I like natural women. I'd rather. I just can't handle it. I can't do it. And that's that restoration part. You just named off like 10 different things that they do. So I was talking to my brother Chase and his wife Hillary, and she chimed in the back and she says, Botox is different than filler. Botox is, will like paralyze the forehead from moving. That's like an older style, I guess. So the wrinkles. Yeah, yeah. But a filler will actually go in and fill areas, area, fill the cracks. So I'm like, but what well, is the filler? I, that's where that's where they left me at. I'm like, well, what's the filler they're using? Is it like running a bead of wells in the crack? <laughs> so I mean, I'll, I'll, I, I, you know, I kind of feel bad like having this conversation about because I know there's a lot of estheticians out there that are making a fucking killing doing this stuff. You well, know? their dentist office is doing it now. Anyone with a oh, doc? Serious? Oh man, yeah. Anywhere you can get, oh. anywhere. There's a lot of things that you carry in the same products are used in dentist dentistry. As far as like. A medical room, clean sanitation, needles. Dentists can put a needle in your skin. They're, they're very comfortable in doing that, and that's what Botox is. So it's the same rhyme to the rhythm. Oh, my God. So I go to an esthetician um, here in, in Illinois, and, you know, mostly uh, they check my blood levels, make sure, like, if I'm deficient in any type of vitamins. But she does, you know, I follow her on social media, and she does a lot of this stuff. And there's, I don't know, there's one thing that she does. It's like, dude, it looks so painful. I don't know why uh -uh. people go to this, but they, it's like these, they put like needles in That's your filler. face and That's then they, they, they pull strings. I mean, it's crazy, dude. It, it looks fucking so painful. Oh, the strings? That's pulling the eyebrows, isn't no, it? No, no, dude. There's something else, man. I can't, I don't even know the name of this stuff, but it's like, they go into your skin and like, 
somehow ah, like i don't oh even... that's liposuction no no nah, dude this is something else hey maybe sophia can help us Do you know what he's talking about sophia oh, it looks no, so painful yeah maybe you can look it up over yeah there, what do you yeah what are, what are we talking about up with i don't know it's some it's these strings that they these so it's called face filler well it's face it's some kind of like face filler face thread threading Facelift? Face no, it's not a face, face thread. Some kind of face threading. Let me see if I can find it on my Instagram with this lady. Yeah. But I tell you what, what else is is becoming popular that a lot of estheticians are doing, and I don't know if you're if you're gonna guess what it is. Try to take a wild guess at what else they're doing with with Botox and filler. Six packs. I don't know about six packs. Six packs. I'm giving people fake six packs. Yeah. Every people getting fake six packs, man. Dude, they're you're never. It looks pretty good, actually. If you didn't know the person, I've always had a six pack actually for like 20 straight years. Wow. No, it like goes from four to six. But you, you'll see. Like oh, I've noticed them is. all the time. I'm like, dude, there's no way that dude's got a six pack like that. And you just like every way he moves his body, it's there. Women too. I know a couple women who have. Them. It's they called, don't look that bad. It's called vectoring. That's what it is. Yeah, check that out, Sophia. Oh, it looks Vectoring. so fucked up, man. I mean, they go in people's face with these. Just digging. Oh, Just it, oh, it dig. digs. It <laughs> digs. I mean, this this lady's gonna be getting freaking. I mean, it's vector. And they're I mean, beautiful they're women too. And you know what? They're, they're going in, dude. The thing is, I think it's crazy, bud. Is these women are in their twenties doing it. Oh, there's all kinds of young people. women in their 20s. Their skin ain't even cracked. They're so scared to get older. The pre maintenance they're doing. Oh, it's ridiculous. And you're spending a fortune on this. You're restoring a brand new car. That's it basically is. what they're doing. You're a brand new lot at 22 well, year old woman. You're brand new. But what they're doing now, it's a big thing, is filler, fat transfer. So they're taking fat, like. All real. Into your penis. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I would never guess that one. So you, can, you can get a, a bigger dick from, from fillers and, and Botox. That's I mean, weird because penises shrink and grow, growers, showers. So if you had some fat lodged in there and all of a sudden it got cold out and like what it would look like with some extra fat lodged yeah. in there. And it, it lasts anywhere uh. from a year to five years. Cause I, what do you I, mean? It oh, it just disintegrates after? Yeah, it just like goes away after a while. So and they I mean, inject it in But it? think about it. Like if you, that's the problem with this shit. Like <sighs> you're stuck with this maintenance for, forever. Cause if that, imagine this. How would you feel, Sophia, if you had, if you were dating this guy? He shows up with a big fat dick, and then like a year later, it just goes away. Wouldn't, wouldn't you be disappointed? I'm very disappointed. Right? God damn it! And you know what else I was hating? Like something goes to that is people been wearing like shoes to make them taller all the time. Dudes oh are claiming God, different dude. size heights. Are all all these the famous? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, dude, you the wearing, you He's know who was ripping on? Uh, who was ripping on him? I couldn't believe it. I think it was Joe. <laughs> Someone, I just watched it. Someone was teasing his his fucking shoes, and it was like someone I respected. Was going, I think it was Joe Rogan. Yeah, it was. Oh man, I don't know who. But they they were they brought up the Shan to Santa's shoes. Yeah, dude, and he's I'm wearing like, like he's wearing fucking platforms. Platform, but look people that could be a hit because my dad is it. You think older. he, he used to he used to wear pla he used oh, to wear yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, but that was back in the day. That was like the style, man. That was like. Disco. I always know. thought he was standing weird and it looked on for porch because he gains like three or four inches from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, I thought he had a weird posture because you're wearing platforms to stem you up that much higher. You're going to have a different posture and stand. For sure. And when dude. you walk, you're going to walk a little you're different. You're going to fall, dude. I did. But I want to go back to this topic of the, of the, of the fillers in the penis. Like, I want to hear from a woman's perspective. Like, Sof Sophia, what do you think about this? Like, do you agree, disagree? I mean, what? how would you feel if your man was getting in? You I'd know? be appalled. Yeah, you you don't think you'd be down for it? That, that it's going like, to go away. Like, like let's come. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the other thing I think it, it does is like, supposedly according to my my to my esthetician lady because i watch her video she was just talking about that this week it also like helps with like erectile dysfunction so if guys have erectile dysfunction like that filler is supposed to be getting some steroid in there some life some juices antibody a bunch of body shh, yeah, bunch of dude, shit swimming around recreate generating youth down there but i guess if you you know if you feel so self-conscious about the size of your penis that's always an option you could do fat transfer botox and fillers man 
week. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of there's a lot of options out there. What about for like guys like me, Juan? Do I get like, is there any hair restoration for me? Or well, supposedly, so there's different options for hair. So there's like, there's uh, uh what is it called? PRP treat. Basically. PRP. I got PRP back in the day before. Back in the day, like probably four years ago, I tried it, and it was very painful. I did it for one of my buddies out of Miami. Yeah. He was teaching a class, and all the doctors had to learn. You did it on your scalp. They did it on my scalp. And these girls were there. It's a funny story. They were like watching me get it done. And they were like being kind of tough and whatever. And these girls were getting on their face. Oh, yeah. So after I got my head done, and I they was like, I was good with here. the doctor. Some of the doctors couldn't even fucking. No way. Just were stabbing me. So you, like, ah. you were like a test. You really. Like I was a test paid. dummy. Uh, I, well, I, I still had hair. Uh, uh, I just was thinning. I still have hair. Still the same stage, thinning. And. Anyhow, after that, I stuck around for these girls who thought they were so fucking tough. Because I was up like, ooh, 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 yeah. oh, yo, you're, gonna, you're a good doctor. Like, I was funny with them. They were giggling. They were happy to have me. Then these girls get up. Goes on their face. Four needle stabs into this one girl's face underneath her eye. Needle. Oh, no. Tears. Ah, I can't do this. Oh, cool. I'm just like, I couldn't believe you made it that far. Yeah. And I'm like, what these women are doing and what they're going through, like, watch some of these videos. These needles going in their skin and oh, dipping dude, and moving them around. Crazy. And dude. the stabbing they do. The recovery time, these women, they disappear for weeks at a time and just probably wondering if it's the right thing that they did. Like, <gasps> looking at their face the next day, like, my head, I couldn't touch it. Yeah, it's so painful, these, dude. These, yeah. They also do, for the scalp, they also do... Uh, what is it called? The uh, embryotic. Uh, is it called Embi embryotic? Uh, I don't know. It's 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 like stem cells. Now, like I know that the the stem cells, for example, that they use in other countries are more powerful than the stem cells that are approved in the United States by the FDA. But basically, is they take the umbilical cord from babies umbilical cords and then they take all those nutrients because you know that's like all nutrients and then they make a concoction out of the stuff and like they can repair knees they can repair joints man this whole baby fluid even with some of the uh, i've heard some of the recent oh, news the epstein yeah. oh my god <laughs> oh my but god but that's a different type of fluid that's Boy, that would have brought up. to mind you brought that to mind with like baby fluid man a lot of people look at this baby and they're like Oh, the juices in it um, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like yeah, i could up. take the use of the baby you know they make movies about when you're a kid you're like watching that and now you're like getting older you're like what are they doing now i know how are they crazy, doing it yeah. why are they doing it is this real is that why that person looks young was that what the yeah. who's what's and why's they're out there they're out there dude so they're out there so there's a lot of stuff going on man there's a lot of like medicine is is just incredible i know for men they're also coming out with like for for hair transplant like uh uh cloning <laughs> So they're actually cloning uh it's a couple of hair pull them out and just let them reproduce a on a, on a, on a, hundred hairs like a hundred health damn. hair follicles and they're cloning but i think within the next 10 years balding is going to be a thing of the past think about it i think it takes uh it takes about like ten thousand hairs to like had, to, to, to had a human ten thousand hair yeah to basically cover your whole bald so i did it i got an estimate actually done i looked into it mm -hmm. um like for 2,500 hairs, you could go to Turkey, Turkey for like $2,500, basically like a dollar a hair. And there's these dudes just flying out the plane. Can you, Sophia, can you type in hair transplant Turkey real quick? See what pops up. And you see all these dudes just hopping on flights, coming back with like fucking white wigs on, just like yeah, all yeah. did up. And so me and my brothers were all balls. But like, realistically, realistically, because I've, you know, I've, I've, I'll be honest with you. I've had I've had a hair transplant. Oh, you've had a hair transplant? Yeah. I couldn't even tell. You need you need like three or four hair transplants. If you're a completely bald guy, that shit ain't gonna happen with one. So I think like men have to be have realistic expectations because in order to like if if you're completely bald, in order to like really cover your head, you gotta have like eight thousand hairs Eight. Transplanted. 
Hey, you 2,500 hairs is really not going to Okay, so much. you're someone like me. So my I have hair all the way up to the back of my head. Yeah. So I am just I think it's easy to replace hair right here. Yeah, I always see hair. A lot the easier. front's easier. I see yeah. a lot of success in it. And that's uh, all I really is have. The hardest part. Then there's like yeah. and obviously some right it, here. It all depends on the on the on the surgeon too, because what I, what is what it is is some some people that when they remove the hair follicle from like the, the side and the back, well they transect they transect the follicle when they put it back in, and it's like cutting. It's not. It's like not taking the root out of a out of a out of a plant. Yeah. correctly when yeah. you're transplanting it yeah he's gonna die yeah so that's yeah, exactly yeah yeah that's a happens. good example like cloning uh Same like thing when you grow so it's like cloning uh, a clone of a plant i've seen it being done yeah and it's very slow process one hair one, at yeah, a fucking one time follicle at a time dude. one so, follicle it's a patient dude doing it yeah so you really gotta make sure you because you you know you, out of that 2500 hairs if you don't have a good surgeon then like fucking you know 50 percent will survive so you're you know you're not really all good. the survival rate on them you're not see they tell you they're doing it at 2000 but they don't talk about the survival not if rate you have a good or if you have a good surgeon you could get about 80 percent to 90 percent to survive okay but if you go to some guy joe schmo that had some really good marketing and he he sold you in fucking turkey and you come back and they all die you know, about 50 percent of your follicles will die yeah, I noticed that in a lot of people that it's like a it's like a maintenance that I wasn't willing to accept either. It has like a lot of maintenance in it, like yeah. going back, watching, not even getting the complete satisfaction. Like you're under this impression, like you got this new person, and it just doesn't come. So the unsatisfactory, yeah. maybe. Yeah, you need three or four transplants, and that's a that's like there's six month treatments so it's all done. So a year and a half. And, and then if you continue, another one, you know, because you could continue so you keep balling because you're getting older. Yeah. You're chasing it. Well, That's I why mean, I shaved it. I gave like up. three or four, then you're done. I think you're good. You're good for the rest of your life. That hair doesn't die. That hair doesn't. You know, it's like when they move the hair from like now they're like if guys that are really have really hairy chest, they're transplanting from the chest. They're transplanting from beards to the scalp too. So they're pulling from fucking everywhere, dude. They're pulling from There's fucking. Some beer hairs right here. Yeah, dude. They're pulling from fucking. They're pulling from like your your pubic hairs even. There's a lot down there. There's a lot <laughs> There's down a... there. You could do a lot of damage you with all do, those pubic you hairs. You yeah. can fill a lot of spots. We need eight. We need eight thousand hairs for a hair transplant head full cover. <laughs> Stay and